Hey everyone, and welcome to the Hemp Horticulture Series. Today, we'll be showing you how Beto buckets work. While all of the hydroponic systems we've covered showcases new ways of providing air, water, and nutrients to a plant without the use of soil, Beto buckets, also known as Dutch buckets, is unique in that it takes the best aspects of multiple hydroponic systems and combines them into one of the most efficient, resilient, and easy to expand hydroponic systems available. The start of a Beto bucket looks eerily similar to the start of a drip system combined with the expandability and drainage of a NFT system. So we have a water reservoir, water pump, and a bucket with the plant that the water pumps into, and then drains into a drain pipe that feeds back into the water reservoir. Now, in addition to that, the bucket is then set up to work similar to a flood and drain system in that there are intervals of watering which floods the bucket and then drains. However, instead of installing the drain on the bottom of the bucket, it's installed on the side of the bucket a couple of inches high, which leaves some of the nutrient rich water behind in each bucket. And this small layer of excess nutrient water allows the bottom roots of a plant to feed off of it until the next time the system runs again, almost like a crack key system that automatically refills itself. Beto buckets can also be designed as a flow to waste system, allowing the excess water in the buckets to drain away instead of recapturing it to be recirculated again. This is simpler to manage, although it does require refilling the nutrient water more often and a tighter control of watering times to ensure minimal wasted water. And now let's go back a little bit and go over why the system works so well. And essentially it boils down to identifying what makes each hydroponic system work and then mashing them together. We start with buckets instead of putting the plants directly into the drainage pipe like a NFT system so that it allows for long-term growth since the bucket can handle larger root balls and provide more stability for larger plants. The top-down water supply from a drip system allows you to start a plant from a seed or seedling and ensures that the plant is getting enough water to grow rapidly early on. And then once the roots reach the small built-in water reservoir at the bottom of each bucket, this allows for a transition to longer intervals between watering so you don't have to run the water pump constantly, easing the electrical use while also lowering the chances of the pump breaking down. And even if something does go wrong, like a water pump breaking or a electrical blackout, the water reservoir in each bucket gives a good amount of grace period for things to get fixed before the plant starts to die and can also be manually watered if needed. This type of system also allows for additional plant buckets to be added on easily, similar to that of a NFT and drip system by just extending the drip line and drain pipe to accommodate additional beta buckets making this one of the best options available for any growth space that needs to consistently expand. The only problems with a Beto bucket system is the setup cost and space required for everything to work, making this type of system available only to those with a very large growth space to start and looking to grow multiple plants. Most Beto bucket setups won't work in a typical grow tent, not only because of the width and length required, but also because of the extra height needed since the buckets need to be raised up so that the drain pipe can rely on gravity to drain back down into a water reservoir. 
and this takes up an additional 1 to 2 feet in height. The setup of a beta bucket is also significantly more work to initially do, requiring a lot of planning, supplies, and tools to get everything to fit together. But for those people with full indoor grow rooms or growing outdoors, this setup is one of the best options when it comes to growing multiple plants with the ability to easily add on more plants anytime. And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch. Available at Amazon in print and digital with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com. Dot com.